The federal poverty line is a very interesting measurement and it has a lot of ramifications for a lot of people. What is it? What does it do? Well, it is based on the idea that your total income is about three times bigger than what you spend on food. Food is about one third of your yearly income. But where does that third come from? And if we change that, how would it impact the federal poverty line? Well, the federal poverty line helps the government determine who is going to need assistance, right? If they're below the poverty line or at a certain percentage of the poverty line, we know they will need assistance. So this matters, right? But one third might be quite outdated. For many people, they don't spend a third of their yearly income on food anymore. It's probably more accurate to say they spend about one fifth of their yearly income. So if we updated this information, let's see what would happen. Now, there's lots of ways to calculate what you should be spending on food each month, but I'm going to assume this is the number, and I'm going to assume it for a family of four. Your assumptions might differ. You might disagree with this number, but this is where I'm going to start. I believe it's a good number for getting some good nutrition for your family of four, maybe getting some organic things, some nice things to eat for your children over the course of a month. And again, you can disagree with that, but watch what happens here. If we assume that this number is what you're spending on, a, on groceries each month, let's find out what that would be per year. So we do take this number and we multiply by 12, right? 12 months in a year, this is what we're spending per month. And then we don't multiply it by three, we multiply it by five, because it's one fifth of your total yearly income. You would triple it if it was one third. And here, look what we get. This number is way higher than the poverty line assumed by the government. This number, 62,400, is way larger than the 26,200 that the government gives, and I'm basing it on what I think we're spending each month on groceries, or should as a family of four, but more importantly, multiplying it by five, giving yourself a realistic sense of what that would be for your yearly income instead of focusing it on a third, and that's quite a difference right there. All right, I hope that gave you some insight. Thanks.